Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Child? It's time for another chit chat, girl. <laughs> so what are we gonna talk about it, girl? We're gonna talk about it. So as y'all know, it's time for another chit chat. And with this chit chat, I'm gonna be using a product that y'all all love, but it looks different, right? And I honestly feel like, look, I really do feel like every now and then these products do a little bit of a change. Now, all we're gonna be doing is retwisting my hair and bigger size twist. We're gonna talk a little bit about Jada's foolery because I'm about tired of it. I feel like every time I get on either Instagram, excuse me, Instagram, um, mostly YouTube, y'all. The one social media site I'm on a lot is YouTube. Every time I get on YouTube, Jada has said something. I almost want to write a list of things that Jada has said this week. It is absolutely <laughs> At this point, it's comical. I know how we do this. I'm going to talk about my personal life, what I'm watching on YouTube, and what I'm watching on TV. Let's take this hair down, baby. My hair is looking good. My hair is actually done today. I did a little light beat because I was supposed to have a doctor's appointment, but the traffic out here in Dallas is so disrespectful. First off, my husband left uh, shortly after I left for my doctor's appointment. I was headed towards the 80. I was stuck on the service road for like, this is the life update, by the way. I was stuck on the service road for like 20 minutes. And I was like, to hell with this, because I still had a good hour left to go. And my appointment was an hour away. And I'm the type of person, y'all, I like to arrive at my doctor's appointment, especially if it's new, a little bit early, like 15 to 20 minutes early. And at that point, I would have gotten there probably 15 to 20 minutes late. I'm not going to be able to do it. So I had to call that doctor and reschedule for like another month, which is okay, child. So I've been really busy this week with working. My other better half is out for the week. So really, 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 really busy with that. Y'all, I'm gonna try and do fairly large size twists. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair over the weekend and review that Cresso Pello deep conditioner I've been wanting to do. So I really don't need to, it doesn't have to be defined, but my hair needs to be locked up and moisturized. So the weather here in Texas dropped a little bit for like the first two days child. And now it's back in disrespectful, meaning we're back. We're probably going to, we're probably going to be back in the lower eighties by the end of the week. Um, I have an attitude because my husband is going away again. This is, y'all, this is something that we talked about before moving here. He told me what he wants to do as far as work. And the goal was, or the plan was to work locally, be a travel MT, that's medical technologist, every three or four months. Well, the traffic, again, is crazy in Dallas. And so for a while there, he was looking to work in East Texas. Sorry, y'all, work in East Texas. Um... The pay isn't great. The pay is trash out here in Texas. So, child, let's just move on. What I'm watching on TV, we're really going to talk about Jada's ass. So, let me go ahead and... <laughs> let me tell you something. Whatever you think about this woman, I find that this week has been very interesting. Now, before I go in on this, on this woman, because Jada's a grown-ass woman, I'm going to say this. I feel like that everybody who whatever happened or whatever you're going through, whatever you have gone through, you have every right to share your truth. I, I wholeheartedly believe that. With that being said, child, I'm so sick. <laughs> I'm about done with Jada. Let me tell you something. So she, what, what, what kicked this off, child? What kicked this off is that she announced that her and Will have been living separately for several years. Now, what is it, y'all? Been like six or seven years. They've been living separately, right? That came with a spew of, because I guess she did a, a, she did an actual interview, right? But along with that came with all of this stuff that she keeps talking about. One being, I mean, it's just, and every now and then, I have to be very careful about sharing stuff because I don't know, you know, the source of it, okay? So I, I'm personally, I'm mindful of that, I will say. Someone had shared 
I don't even know, or I don't even know, or I've never met the Will, the real Will Smith. Child, underneath that, you had a person that said, I do believe in cloning. I'm like, girl, ain't nobody cloning Will Smith ass. <laughs> no. So I don't, I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm just saying ain't nobody gonna clone his ass. Then she posted later on that, uh, and maybe this is something that she had shared a while back. Tupac. Tupac was her soulmate. I went on, on her Instagram and apparently a couple of weeks ago, she shared several videos of her and Tupac dancing together. Then she said that Tupac suffered from alopecia. I know I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but he just didn't want to share that with me. That's why he went ahead and shaved his head. Like, why are you giving up this man's um, uh, medical history and he's not here? I have a problem with that. You, you just... Even if he have, why are you why are you seeing that? And he's not here to defend himself. Joe, what else she said this week, y'all? <laughs> I'm gonna get to this magazine because I when I read the first part, I was like, Lord have mercy. Separated. She says that also that um oh the slap. We know what the slap is. That's that the Chris Rock slap saved her marriage. Did y'all see how Will Smith looked like doing? I didn't even watch all of it, the red table. That man looked so broken. Now let's also let me say this: Will Smith is not innocent. There has been rumors going around that he cheated on Jada all this time. The big difference is that Will Smith ain't really saying anything about it because years ago. So let's get into this a little bit. I'm not gonna do all do it all because I, I didn't even read it all because I thought it was. It was a bit much, but let me just go. Child, let me just read some of it for y'all. So this is what had me like, are you serious? The first part, I'm ready to talk. You've been talking. Some of the information I read, just reading this, this particular uh, article piece is that she thought that the slap at first, she thought it was in the script. I don't believe that. You've been with this man long enough. You should be able to tell when he's serious or not. Yeah, no, I, I don't believe that. Um, I don't think that they feel like either one of them necessarily cheated on each other. Because at one point, she said that her and Will took breaks and they separated. So I think with them, they had an agreement that we'll still be friends, we'll still be cordial, but you do you and I'll do me. So with them... That they probably, this is just a hearsay. This is how, just from reading this, I feel like they think that that's not considered cheating since we took a break from each other. Uh, but you're still legally married. So you, you both committed adultery. Oh, here we go. When we were younger, one thing I knew was that it was very important for us to have a friendship that had real deal. Thorough communication. To say at 25 and at 28 years old in Tinseltown that till death do us part and there won't be any strained eyes didn't seem realistic. I was not about to set this up like that. I was like, let's have a friendship where we could be honest with each other. There, That was imperative. And that's what we did. That does not mean we have an open relationship. There were different stages in my marriage where Will and I decided we were not together. We didn't tell the public. Yes, let me tell you something. If this ninja ever decides that, okay, we're going to take a break and we're going to separate. And that means that I have leeway to do whatever we want. Do you think I'm going to go? I think that Will and Jada are in a toxic marriage. Hey, is there a marriage? It's not mine. We'll do what you got to do. I think that she's really drumming on this and talking about this because she's trying to sell a book. She has a book coming out. They were talking about, girl, I think the, sis, the sister wives, look at that. The sister wives are not sister wives anymore. But my thing is that how in the hell do sister wives still being able to get, you know, married? Anyway, y'all, moving on. What I'm watching on TV. Girl, a lot. I finally finished, and I am so upset. I am so upset. I almost messaged Lakeith ass, but I know he's crazy. I finally finished on Apple TV, The Changelings. I got up to, I think, like, episode six, 
And then the last two episodes got weird as hell. The second to last episode was surrounding the mother, Lakeith's character. His name is Apollo in the, in the series. Apollo's mother, Lillian. The entire episode was about her. And it really didn't add anything to the actual series. As there was there's a monster, but it really didn't give any. Honestly, for me, it didn't answer the questions of this is what the monster is. This is its purpose. So uh, it's just trash. And I think it was trying to do what From did, but it missed the marker. I know so I rewatch Us, which is still, in my opinion, a masterpiece. I loved it. Us, Us, Us is actually on Netflix right now. Um, a new series I'm watching on F Apple TV is called, y'all yeah, been drinking, so excuse me, Savant. It's spelled as servant, but it's pronounced servant. I think it's pronounced servant, which is basically like a governess. I think it's pronounced servant, right? It's a governess or someone who who is a nanny child. And it's on Apple TV. It's by M. Night Shyamalan, which you already know is going to be crazy as hell. So stay sober and stay ready. Very, very interesting. Very good. Baby, I'm going to give you an overview real quick. There's a couple that hires a nanny to keep their child. In the first episode, you realize that the couple actually lost their child at like 16 weeks to some, I'm I'm assuming it's a uh, crib death, uh, SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome. But we don't know yet, right? It's not funny. Towards the middle of it, of the series or the episode, excuse me, when he goes to go and check on the baby, he lifts the baby up by the feet. And I'm thinking, oh my God, why is he lifting up that baby like that? And the baby is dangling. I'm like, oh my God, what are you doing? I'm thinking, oh, the daddy did it. Another part, it cuts to another scene where the dad is like holding the baby on his lap and you they look down at the lap. Child, it's a reborn, a reborn doll. I'm like, you know what? And I get it. There are certain women that after they lose a baby, they do buy those reborn dolls and they, um, you know, that, that helps them. I mean, child, those dolls are expensive. And from what I understand, they have everything from, the, from those dolls, like everything from diapers to food. Whew. First of all, I'm not spending on diapers on a fake ass doll. <laughs> Because I'm not going to be able to... Can I claim you on my taxes? Now, if I, if I can claim a rebound doll on my taxes, I'm going to have four or five of them up in here. <laughs> not a problem. What else am I watching? Um, The Fall of the House of Usher. It's on Netflix. I'm here for it. I'm going to have to watch it. I'll put, them, I'll put it on my to-do list. I also put on my to-do list... I am so ready for it. The Tragedy of Macbeth. It has your fine ass... Uncle Daddy, <laughs> Denzel Washington. And let me tell you something. I didn't realize that there's a fairly new movie. It's called The Fall of Macbeth. Y'all know, or maybe you don't know, Macbeth is a um, William Shakespeare. Okay. And so it's about three witches. I'm not going to give it, but I'm going to watch it. And I think that he was um, up for the Oscar for this role, actually. And I thought he was a little bit younger on it. But girl, this is like Macbeth. This is like hello my lord type of people so i'm like okay yeah this is it so what are y'all watching are y'all excited for the fall can y'all believe that we are in fall this is crazy to me i feel like it's just going by so fast but i'm excited even though well, i'm not gonna be here i am excited i did tell jb i said look baby because he was very upset y'all um but I told him, I said, look, baby, we'll spend more time with our family here. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all of my new subscribers. Take care. Bye.